Hi and welcome back to USMLE team. Today's topic is uh, USMLE scoring question number three. Um, we started recently this one new USMLE scoring questions. So this will help you to score more in your USMLE examination. And we are discussing very important topics and very tricky questions that USMLE will trick you by asking these questions. So you should know the basic idea that's very important. Okay, if there is any updates regarding um, because the criteria will keep on changing, right? Every three months to six months, this will keep on changing. So if there is any change, any updates, you can update us through the comments so that uh, it will benefit you, us and your friends. Okay, guys. And before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please tell your friends to subscribe. Okay. Okay, the question is, uh, they will give the history of a child of an um, 8 years old with asymptomatic, means he's doing fine, he's going to school, he doesn't have any complaints, okay, um, but uh, stool culture, they will give the big history and then stool culture shows uh, G. Lamblia, so what is your best next step would be, tell me what it would be. Okay, as asymptomatic child with uh, stool culture showing a G. Lamblia. What do you want to do? This is what the mother going to ask you, doctor, how is my child doing? Do you want to treat or no? So you now you tell me, pause it and tell me, what do you want to do? Yes. Look, he is asymptomatic, so no treatment, even if his stool culture are positive for this infection. So remember, even if they gave the history that the patient is doing fine and everything is fine, but the stool culture is positive for G. Lamblia, then uh, do you want to treat? No, no treatment. If he is asymptomatic, no treatment is required. That's what is important. Okay. So if he is symptomatic, then you have to go ahead with the treatment. The treatment would be a metronidazole, right? Uh, okay. Now depending on the drug, um, this is very important thing you should know. Stool culture is positive, but uh, you should not treat it because he is asymptomatic. Uh, mother doc uh, when you want to treat asymptomatic patients so what do you will answer they will ask you that uh, when do you want to treat asymptomatic patients even if the they are asymptomatic when do you want to treat okay in a cases of uh, low gamma globulinemic patients uh, epidemic uh, a area okay if there's an epidemic or endemic in this uh, community then you have to treat them even if they are asymptomatic uh, if the mother is a pregnant with a baby infected with this uh, G. Lamblia, then you should treat because to prevent the complications to the uh, pregnant mother and the fetus, developing fetus, okay? And even for the cystic fibrosis patients, okay guys? So this is very important uh, thing you should know. G. Lamblia, asymptomatic, no treatment, even if the stool cultures are positive, okay? G. Lamblia, asymptomatic, but you want to treat, when you want to treat, when there is a low gamma globulinic patients, when there is an epidemic or endemic, a uh, pregnant mother with a baby infected with this uh, G. Lamblia infection and uh, cystic fibros fibrosis patients, okay? Okay guys, uh, this is about the basic idea. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, take care and please do not forget to subscribe.